Hello folks, I'm OdinSmack33 and welcome back to Let's Play The Incredible Machine. This is the bonus video. As you can see on screen here, it says bonus, but this is freeform mode. Uh, a mode where you can you can do whatever, it's really just uh, you get unlimited parts until the game decides that you can't place anymore. But yeah, you can place whatever, including a lot of stuff you don't normally get to place in the game, like the various walls and whatnot. Uh, so I thought, you know, we could have a fun thumbnail for the video and have a little fun little, you know, contraption to start off with. So I just want to show off freeform mode just to show you how it works. But yeah, you can kind of just like place whatever you want anywhere, you know, you can put this balloon here if we want. I don't know. I'm just placing something down, but I just kind of want to show you how this goes. But I want to start the video off like this, showing off freeform mode, because the rest of the video is going to be me showing off... Uh, the various alternate solutions to uh, a bunch of the puzzles in the game. So I wanted to do that, uh, but, you know, kind of start off with this and, and show off what it was about. So why don't we hop on into some of those alternate solutions and we'll do some, a little bit of post-commentary. Alright, so this is Puzzle 28, A Baseball in Every Pot. Uh, the original solution I did just used all the seesaws because... I mean, what else are you gonna do? It's the most obvious thing to do. So I tried to use the ramps and the <laughs> and the various trampolines uh, and even that uh, conveyor there just to get something working there. And I guess this is like kind of a little speed run, getting it to go faster. But I don't know. And here's puzzle 34: Pop Goes the Weasel. Uh, this one you can do really fast with just the tennis ball and just getting it to activate the seesaw down there. But I want to use everything, so <laughs> we set up this really uh, elaborate contraption with this basketball up here to get it to hit the seesaw instead, because why not, I guess. You know, I had to do something with it. Oh man, I know you probably saw the bonus video. For part five, you gotta smile. This is puzzle 45. Uh, <laughs> I was determined to get that rocket to pop this balloon. And I was like, we're finding a way to do it. So I got the rocket down here with this gear. So it's kind of a lot lower to get. So this, in theory, should be easier to get um, with the balloon and this tennis ball. It's, it's kind of zany. This is probably not what they wanted you to do. I think they wanted you to use the rocket to turn on the light switch uh, to get that gear going. The gear is definitely the way you are supposed to pop this balloon. That's definitely what they want you to do. But I was determined to get the pop with the rocket. And guess what? I did it. <laughs> it is done. Finally solved the way I wanted it. Here's puzzle 50, pop, 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 and pop. Uh, this one, I felt like there was a way better way than what I did it. It just felt really awkward. Like, they clearly wanted you to use these uh, conveyors, uh, these conveyor belts, uh, to, to use the candle to go across here, and, and to have the rocket, like, light the candle like this. So... I don't know if that was perfect, but I think that's a lot more intended than what, uh, like what they wanted you to do. All right, here's Red Alert, Puzzle 53. This one you can solve really fast, but I just wanted to try and do something with all this other stuff they give you. They give you a plunger, they give you a gun. Like, what are you supposed to do with all this, right? So I was like, there's got to be some way to do this. So I was really clever with the using the gun to fire the candle as opposed to using the conveyor belt. So I thought that was kind of fun there. Here's Puzzle 57, let more out of the box. Uh, we did this one in about two seconds where we just pulled the plunger down and, and let him go because yep, you can attach a rope to the plunger. I really tried to do something with Kelly the monkey here and and this conveyor belt. I could not figure something out. I, I was really trying, it wasn't working so this isn't as elaborate as I wanted, but you know what? Kelly's trapped in the box now, so. All right, here's Puzzle 63, Launch All the Rockets. Uh, I mentioned this solution, but I don't think I actually did it during uh, the Let's Play. But uh, blink and, you'll, and you might miss it here. 
uh, you really, honestly, I think it would be even faster to use the basketball here, but yeah, just using the different pulleys, you can just do this and kind of bypass everything in this puzzle. Yeah, here, here it is again, because, you know, it was really fast. <laughs> like I said, blink and you miss it. All right, so puzzle 66, knock it off. I could not for the life of me figure out what to do with that balloon down there. I tried everything I in those conveyors. I don't know the point of it. But guess what? There's a real quick way to solve this puzzle. Uh, and guess what? It involves Kelly the monkey. Yeah, you don't have to even shoot that revolver up there. Uh, you can just use that baseball and just, <laughs> just knock it into the other baseball. And that's the puzzle. Like, yeah, you can do this one super fast. So I thought that was pretty clever there. All right, here's the next one. Puzzle 67, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. I feel like we kind of glitched this one uh, with the cannonball. Uh, we didn't need to use much of anything else. So I was really determined to try and use most of this other stuff because, you know, it's it's there. You might as well. Uh, that trampoline underneath that balloon, I thought that may have been needed for the baseball. Uh, most definitely is not. <laughs> so, you know, that's it. That's another way to do it there. Here's Puzzle 70, Save the Bob Squad. Uh, this one we cheesed with the uh, with the Jack in the Box um, last time, where we just blocked the revolver with it, but I want to do something kind of fun here, so we used the bowling ball, actually, so that the baseball couldn't get at the, uh, the cannon, so I thought that was kind of clever there. That took me quite a bit to set that one up, but so, you know, there's an alternate solution there. All right, here's Puzzle 71, the wooden shaft. I was convinced that that basketball was actually a bait. Uh, I was so close to solving this like this in the actual project. If I had just moved that fishbowl down like one one spot, um, we would have solved this uh, maybe how they intended it. I still didn't use a trampoline, but I still used most of this other stuff here. So I felt a, I felt a little bit better about this solve, honestly. Felt a little more on brand what they wanted. So puzzle 72, laying down a bunt. This one again, very quick. Uh, you can solve this even faster too than what I'm attempting to do here. Because actually, I don't think I mentioned this during the project, but these uh, Mort the Mouse generators, if a cat is close to one, they just run. Like, you don't have to even hit it. So if we just if we move this closer um, to Pokey, we wouldn't have to even like use this cannonball to move Pokey the cat here. Like, that would have worked without all that, but, you know, a little more fun. Here's Puzzle 75, Blow Up. Uh, I mean, you know what we want to do. Uh, during the project, I could not get the uh, candle lit in time uh, to light that last dynamite. I was like, no, this is happening. So we're using these upwards pulleys um, for, like, to light the uh, light bulb. It's... I don't know, physics, it just works, okay? <laughs> I don't know how to explain that one so much. The pulleys just work like that. Here's puzzle 85, put the cage in the hole. This one, we kind of used a gear to kind of cheese this, but they want you to put a rope on this hook. That's what they actually want you to do uh, to weigh this down. And so this is this is kind of clever here. Um, I thought so. You have to use that pulley, though, because the... If you just attach the rope to the hook there, it doesn't line up with the scissors, which I don't know if that's wrong. I feel like it is, but that's okay. And then here's Puzzle 86, Save Mort from the Cats. This one, you know, we, we did this one pretty on brand, I feel like, but I, I kind of want to use a little bit more here. So we took advantage of the very various conveyor belts and whatnot. And I, I just, I really wanted to use everything because I thought it'd be more fun to do so. So hey, at least like everything gets used in this puzzle now. And there we go, this puzzle 86. And that was all the alternate solutions that I wanted to show off. Uh, right before I sign off, I want to give you one final free form mode contraption here. Got <laughs> Kelly's last ride, uh, because you know, we haven't really been able to use her a lot in this project, so similarly, She's going to ride her bike and do nothing, which has happened, I felt like, quite a few times uh, during this Let's Play. But, you know, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play of The Incredible Machine. Um, this was to celebrate my 15 years on YouTube. 
Uh, it's it's been a been a blast so far, and, and there's plenty plenty more to go for sure. Plenty more let's plays, plenty more crazy zaniness. So thanks for sticking by through the incredible machine, and I'll see you for the next project. So until then, take care, and goodbye. <laughs>